Welcome to Linux tutorial. In this video, I am going to show you how to install and set up load balancer by using SnapT. SnapT is a graphical tool which allows you to set up the load balancer in a easy way. SnapT allows you to set up the load balance by using a web-based user interface. This tool makes you to configure load balancing easily by using graphical user interface so that we don't need to know any command to set up load balance. Here I am going to show you how to set up load balance by using SnapT in CentOS 7. In my case, this is my Ubuntu machine. I have taken remote connection for my CentOS server by using SSH protocol. For setting up load balance, you must have a machine for load balancing. This machine is my load balancing machine. Here my IP is 192.168.5.141 this is the IP for the CentOS machine. From this machine, I am going to set up load balance. So, this machine is going to act as a load balancer. And then, we need some more machines for web servers. I have a 3 web servers, which is as the IP address 142 and 148 and 149. You can have 2 or more web servers like this. And then, we are ready to set up load balance. Now, here I can see. This is the package for SnapT for setting up load balance. You can download this package from the internet. You can open your browser. Now you can go to this link address. This is the website for SnapT application. Here you can able to download the application. It is not a free application. We can download the free trial. If you would like to purchase this application means you can purchase it. Or else before purchasing it we can try it. Now click here to download the trial version and here you need to enter your email address for downloading SnapT. So after downloading SnapT you will get file like this. Now we can extract this file. Now run the following command to extract the file. Now we can type this command to extract this star file. Here we need to extract this file into this slash directory. Now type like this and then hit enter. Now the package is extracted. You can find the extracted package in the directory cd space slash usr slash local slash snapt. Now here type ls. Here, here you can see a script file. We need to start the script file to run the snapt web server. So you can type the command slash user slash local slash snapt slash start dot sh now hit enter now the snapt web service is started now we can access the snapt web page from your browser with this port number and then your ip address we can access the snapt web page from the local host only so i will take the sh connection with the graphical option for that, we need to put iPhone capital X. This option allows you to take the SSH connection along with the graphical options. Now hit enter. Now I type the password for my CentOS. Now I will type the command Firefox to open the web browser. Now this command will open the Firefox application from my CentOS machine. It will not going to open the Firefox application from the Ubuntu machine. It will go into SSC Firefox application from my CentOS machine. Now I hit enter. Now here I can see this is the Firefox from my CentOS machine. Now here type the address as localhost colon 8080. Now hit enter. Here you can see SnapT. Now click here go to step 2 and choose your operating system. In my case it's Linux and then Click go to step 3. Now here you can see the default username and then password is admin. Now click go to snapd. Now you can log in with the credentials. Username is admin. And then password also admin. Now click login. Here you can see a warning message. We need to install the package for LSHW. So let's close the Firefox. 
now type the command m space install space ls hw space iphone y and then hit enter now wait for some time until the package is installed after installing this application open the firefox again now go to the link now you can see there is no warning message now here you can see this is snapd web application for configuring load balancing here you can able to configure load balance before that we need to install some plugins now click here plugin management now install the following plugins for load balancing now install this three plugin now click install now the plugins are installing wait for some time now here you can see now the plugins are installed next we need to choose misc tab and then here we need to install snap backup and then snap redundancy now click install for both plugins now wait for some time now it's installed next we need to choose balancer tab now click balancer and here we need to install these two plugins now click install for both the plugins now it's installing now the plugins are installed next we can configure load balancer next you choose balancer and then here we need to choose backend management from here we need to configure the load balancer now click here and then here we can able to configure snap balancer before going to configure snap balancer we need to configure the permission for HA proxy configuration for that we can run this command now open your terminal and then run the following command now type chmod space root colon apache space slash etc slash ha proxy slash ha proxy dot cfg now hit enter and then type chmod space 770 space slash etc slash ha proxy slash ha proxy dot cfg now hit enter now close the terminal now click ok and then here click configure integration here you can able to configure the path for snap balancer here we need to mention the ha proxy configuration file path and then click finalize integration now here we need to revert the default configuration so click revert config Now the configuration is reverted to default. Next we need to start the installation server for SnapD balancer. Now click here and then click start the wizard. Now here you can choose the balancer settings. Here you can choose the maximum connections and then retrace and then connection timeout now click save and then here we can choose the snap settings and then here we can configure some general settings like auto reload balancer and then snapped inside currently these are disabled if you want to enable means you can enable it and then click save finally we need to configure logging options and here you can configure the notice events you can choose level 1 level 2 or level 3 level 1 for critical only level 2 for full changes and level 3 for all notice and then click save now is finish now click finish next we need to create load balancer 
now click create load balancer and then here you can see you can configure HTTP load balancer and HTTPS load balancer and SSL proxy and the MS exchange and then remote desktop now I need to configure HTTP load balancer so I choose create HTTP now here you can choose the group name for load balancer and then here we can add some web servers to configure the load balancing now I will type the IP address for my web server as I mentioned by starting this video now here you can see this is the IP address for my web server I have three web servers so I will type the IP address for my web server and then click add wizard group now load balancer is created next we need to start the load balancer you can click start balancer now it's starting now here you can see now the balancer is started you can see there are three observers now three observers is up and running now click here here you can able to start and stop the balancer now choose service tab here you can able to view the observers are added in the load balancer group here web0, web1 and web2 are the web servers is added to the group currently all servers are running now click live dashboard here you can able to see the live dashboard for the web servers if there is any web server it goes down mean we can able to see here now open our terminal and I will log into my one of my web server now let's check the status for my web server currently it's running now let's stop the web service so run the command Here you can see now the web service is stopped. Now you can close the terminal and then here click reload. Now here you can see now the one service goes down. Here you can see the notification. Here also we can see the web server web0 is currently not running and it goes down. Here you can see the downtime is down for 15 seconds. So this is how we can configure load balancing by using SnapT. So that's all about for SnapT. Hope this video is helpful for you. Thank you for watching.